Hi folks, Dino Bob here. We're in Bombay Park today and we're going to continue along with the uh, Pell Creek portion of the park. We're starting out here in North America at the Cretaceous period uh, entrance uh, and this time we're going to go off to the left. Uh, last time we went straight ahead and to the right for Edmontosaurus and this time we're headed for Triceratops. Uh, one of the two uh, species that will eventually be in the park. Uh, on the approach here, we're going to actually come up to an exit, first of all, for the Hell Creek Safari. Uh, but we're not going to go in there right yet. We'll come back uh, for the safari uh, part, even though we're not going to take a tour through it today. So here there's a split where you would go into the safari on the left and ahead is the Hell Creek Tower. Um, you may think you're seeing it rising there, but that's only the elevated elevator, excuse me, uh, to the uh, elevated uh, viewing platform. So the elevator door is there. Um, the stairs for um, anyone who wants to walk up. There is a small viewing shelter here, and I can see we have a dinosaur out there. And what you're going to do? And nod your head at us, okay. Uh, <laughs> and then do a weird thing with your feet, huh? I don't know. Anyway, so there's this little shelter, and guests would be able to see the vehicles uh, coming out of that building that you can sort of catch glimpses of on the left, and moving through into the Triceratops enclosure for the safari. Behind the bamboo is private space for staff. You can see staff doors over there on the right. We're going to try to get our way up the stairs and now we're on top in the um, viewing platform. This actually goes over the uh, shelters for the Triceratops and the Edmontosaurus. Uh, you can see it's a linear exhibit and there's the real tower at the end of this walk. Uh, we'll be heading there shortly. On the right is the Edmontosaurus uh, habitat and it too has one of these glass roofed, uh, green roofed uh, shelters for the animals where they can uh, take cover from inclement weather. Um, this is a little bit further along that platform. You can see the Montessor out there. Uh, you see the volcano in the far distance and uh, down there gives a little glimpse of the water there, the Edmontosaurus water hole and spin around to get a, a look at where the Triceratops hang out. We're actually standing on top of the transfer point between uh, the two habitats for the safari ride. So that's the, the entrance. We're going to cut to a little bit of a speed build here for what I did to build the tower. Uh, it's uh, a little bit uh, complicated. I had originally built it with uh, full size uh, four meter pieces uh, and then decided that wasn't going to work out space-wise terribly well and uh, so I then took the stairway that you can see me building and uh, squeezed it down so it's uh, half the size using that one wall as a guidance uh, to get the size right uh, and this is a more congenial con excuse me congenial proportion for this sort of thing um, and uh, did it all in the concrete just to uh, play with the shapes um, more than uh, the texture and uh, right now I'm going through a process of uh, shrinking the landings between each run of stairs uh, so that they don't take as much space up either. Um, so, uh, like I said, this is a, was a, a long build and uh, figuring out some things as I went along the elevator uh, due to the door frames needs to be a full um, four meter block. Um, and uh, that's just, just what it is. Uh, so, once I did all the um, structural shape elements that I'm working with here, I then uh, decided on what uh, 
colors I wanted for elements that were staying concrete and what uh, other architectural elements I wanted to bring in to make it look like something other than a brutalist uh, block uh, monstrosity. Uh, I'm building it here on the flat area, which is the, the Cretaceous Entry Plaza. Uh, so I think you can tell from the empty habitats that I actually built this tower before uh, well, the last Fonbright Park uh, habitat you saw, which, which was the Edmontosaurus, or the one that we're working with today. Uh, uh, and you can see the fences out there that laid out the whole of the um, Hell Creek area. Uh, at least as far as it goes for the animals uh, we have right now. Uh, you know, the original 50 animals had another Hell Creek. Well, had, the original 50 had two Hell Creek eras animals. One Thessalosaurus was uh, canceled and uh, the other one, as far as we know, is still going to be in the game, and that would be Ankylosaurus. And I haven't decided whether I will display Ankylosaurus uh, in with some of the other habitat animals, or whether I will give it its own area, uh, contemplating possibly doing both, uh, one f so that it'll be there for the safari ride, and the latter um, so people could uh, get a close-up look without having to take the safari ride um, because I don't think these will be very gregarious animals and they will probably have a tendency to get lost in the undergrowth. Anyway, so that was the speed belt and now we're back in the habitat where you can see what colors I chose and what materials and we're up on top of the platform now looking back across the elevated viewing platform and the shelters for the Edmontosaurus and Triceratops and the building at the right there, going 90 degrees to that, is the uh, Safari Launching Building. So our guests are going to get a great viewpoint from up here. Uh, I was having a hellacious time with uh, uh, getting the camera to cooperate and move uh, uh, as I wanted it to. It, it was jerky and would go too far and too fast. So I cut a bunch of that out. Uh, fortunately for you. Anyway, this is looking out the other side um, toward the volcano side. You can see a triceratops right up there near that rock edge. That rock edge is a drop off into that next habitat to give it a uh, more natural seamless looking thing without fences showing. And uh, that other habitat of course has to be uh, separated because that's pretty much where uh, Tyrannosaurus is going to be when we get there. And that will be coming up in Vombray Park. Uh, maybe in the next Vombray Park video, uh, maybe the one after that. Uh, these animals all want a lot of space, so it takes a lot of time to work with getting the space right. And buildings, like this building structure, took quite a bit of time uh, to do between the tower, the long uh, elevated viewing platform, and the the safari entrance. Uh, so uh, it's a little hard to squeeze those into single short videos. Anyway, let's head back uh, with one last look around at the uh, uh, habitat and the views from up here. Uh, we'll take the elevator down this time. Down we go. And then we will take a walk through the safari launch area. Obviously safaris are not in the game yet. The devs have in the past said that they want to have things like that and uh, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, might have to completely redesign this but it is what it is. Anyway so uh, here's the Hell Creek Safari entrance. On the left is a ramp so our uh, accessibility challenge guests can get up there and a stairway for the more able body and up we will go and the windows there let you see the departing vehicles as they go through the gate into the habitat um, and you'll catch glimpses of uh, vehicles. These are from the workshop, I believe it's uh, Etta here, uh, who made them. They're quite nice, very recolorable. Uh, so here we are in the, the first area. We've already gone past the entrance where people get into the cattle chute for the ride 
and then you can see the yellow line they have to stay behind before boarding their vehicles they have restrooms uh, at this point both for guests coming off uh, the exhibit and guests moving who don't want to go out on the cars uh, they can move down into the area where we're going to in a moment looking back across that you can see one of the guests departing through the entrance instead of going where she should be going which is down here uh, as we go down this ramp and it's just ramp here uh, so it needs a long run there is a little building here with guest amenities we've got uh, merchandise and food in there we'll stick our head in as we uh, go a little bit down the ramp so uh, you know they can get refreshment there and we'll go down the ramp now and on the left as we're over here it'll be on the right coming up the uh, accessibility uh, ramp there is a pond uh, so right now it's just a nature sort of exhibit and uh, if we someday get some more uh, mini animals um, I'd like to see if I could squeeze one in here um, anyway down the ramp uh, undeveloped section of the park ahead of us and to the right at least a little bit undeveloped it eventually hits the Jurassic portion of North America which is what those rocks are in the distance um, and uh, not really tricked out sloping terrain uh, so we would start our way down toward the exit I'm going to stop and take another look at that uh, uh, pond area and then I think and you see that dark spot up on the hill on the left let's go check that out there's stairs coming up here and a uh, little flat area and you can see stairs and a door going into the building in one of my other parks, I introduced the Health Creek Research Institute, and they are often involved in Paleo Jeans Parks, sponsoring the Health Creek area, or helping with it anyway. And this is an observation station for them, uh, for the team studying Triceratops. And that's why they have the binoculars, and it's a little quiet area. They can observe most of the, the uh, exhibit for these animals. And uh, I don't know, I guess they, they do whatever observations they're doing, study whatever they're studying, and uh, just doing their thing. So uh, let's head back to where we were, and we'll be finishing up the, the tour uh, shortly. Uh, back at the pond, more or less where we were, and then we will turn and head out the exit. Uh, so you can see it's pretty <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> pretty extensive uh, area that this uh, portion of the Hell Creek area covers, and um, and I think now you have a good idea why it took so long. So we'll do a little aerial jump. You can see the building for the safari entrance there, and a little bit more, and you can see how the Triceratops. Uh, habitat uh, is parallel to the Edmontosaurus uh, habitat and you can see there's still mostly plain green space beyond that will be the rest of the Hell Creek area. So I'd like to thank you for stopping by and sit through this a little bit longer than usual video. Um, I'll do the usual uh, you know begging for supporters you know like comment subscribe uh, and all that good stuff and uh, got a couple of short uh, animal clips uh, for this one because like, as I said it is running long but everybody likes their animals and so do I uh, and over to the Triceratops I think this is one of our girls uh, heading toward us they're the largest, one of the largest uh, Ceratopsians known, and uh, one of the last uh, present at the uh, end of the Mesozoic. And uh, that's pretty much what I have for today. Um, maybe we can get the Tops to say goodbye. You want to say goodbye, Tops? Come on.
for the guests, for the guests. Thank you very much. Big bullhorn yawn. Anyway, so this is Dino Bob. Be kind to each other and uh, stay safe out there. Signing off for now. <laughs>